after going to Friday Night Drifts, hosted by Keep It Reet, and being a passenger in a pro's drift car, my underwear was in grave danger. Although, I was G'd up to look further into drifting. As the time passed by, out of the blue, Keep It Reet invited me to come partake in drift school and drive their Ford AU Turbo Falcon. I'm relatively new to drifting, so this should be interesting. Here we are, 20th of August 2022, on our way to the event at Calder Park Raceway in Melbourne. I brought the missus and a few mates along. Got a like, media entry. Ah, oh, sir. Yeah, how's it nice going? Nice to meet you. You too, man. Uh, yeah, I'm oh, just all in. All in. Oh. Yeah. Thanks, man. Now, I have a very little idea of what to expect today. This is all a world I'm very new to. The people, the location, and drifting itself. The only drift experience I have are shitty street skids and a good amount of hours in sim drifting on a Seto Corsa. On top of being relatively new, I was drifting a car that was not mine, so I definitely did not want to bin it. With all that in mind, I was pretty fucking nervous. A bit nervous, boys. <laughs> how you doing? How you doing? Before I picked up the Ford AU, I attempted to take the crew over to the other side of Calder Park Raceway, where drift school was held. We couldn't see a guaranteed way through the fence, so we asked security and they suggested going around the back way. We made it to a bigger fucking fence. Why is this fucking always like this with pit drivers? Fuck's sake, Ben. Fact, they drive there. Where are these cars coming from? Maybe right down the end. Yeah. However, I then met my drift coach for the day through the fence. Jordan Zavalos. How do you fucking say your name, Jordan? He said to come in his BMW and drive over to pick up the AU. So, yeah. Eventually, we made it around onto the track. You know where Jordan went? Jordan is? Uh, no, I don't know where he went. But Jordan Houdinied and was nowhere to be seen. So we just stole the cunt's car. Do you know this is Jordy's? Yeah, he said Tokyo's. Oh, well, we just stole some cunt's car. <laughs> doing a bit of NASCAR action now. Where am I going, mate? Where am I? <laughs> what are we doing? Know. We felt we were getting a bit too close to where the pros were drifting on the main course. So we decided to do a U-turn. What the hell? What's reverse? Push it down. Try it, There we go. <laughs> so scuffed, man. Oh, absolute buffoons out here. Look. <laughs> what are you doing? Fun little trip, guys. Let's, let's go get the AU. <laughs> we then went on foot to pick up the AU. However, I had to leave a man behind. Yeah, oh, you reckon he can, yeah. <laughs> no, he can't get through. So. Oh, oh. Yeah, he's a big fella. Yeah, I'll meet you back here. All right. Oh, yeah, there it was, ready to go. Smooth as butter. No issues. Get the fucking gear. There we go. Off we went. All right, this is a bit different to my, are you? Gears are so hard to find on this thing. Holy shit. Give it some beans. A lot of mucking around, but hey, we made it. Oh, fucking oath I am. <laughs> Whilst I waited in line for my turn, we watched some of the other learners getting amongst it. Here we go. I was up. First run and I'm very fucking nervous. It's time to do it, boys. Let's do some damage. I mean, what? No. Oh, I should've went to the toilet first. Fuck. <sighs> Alrighty, boys. This is fucked. I didn't think I'd be getting on the track this early. Oh, What's going on, coach? Is that dude drifting that? Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. Yes. Fuck me. That's not good. Yeah, I thought it was just because the track was wet. I was picking up a water bar. Oh, you're nervous, mate. 
I am nervous, <laughs> mate. <laughs> we go around the second cone. Pin it? Yeah. Alright, I got you. Alright. That gets a heart racing. Yeah, how good. <laughs> never drift a bit Not at a track, just street skids. Sim drifting. First run felt good. Definitely need to work on getting out of first gear though. As well as getting the flick right for the entry. Yeah. Definitely didn't hold back. <laughs> yeah, Jordan's like just fucking do a big entry, so I was like, alright. When so, you go out next, just keep an eye on the temp. I was so nervous. You are or you were? I was. A bit less nervous now. Do you want us to slam it into the wall? Ben? There you go, mate. Oh, Alex. Ben. Alex, nice to meet you. First time on the track, you reckon? Yeah, first time on the track. I don't know if I'm late, lad. No, actually. Alrighty. Let's do this. Time for run two. Started okay. I tried chuck it in second gear, but I was just going too slow. And then fuck this cone's day up. AU was running a bit hot after that one. Engine started running rough as gats. Not sure what's happened. Oh, oh fuck. Um, yes. What did you do? Not so well. What did, oh, oh, holy shit. What's going on here? Uh, oh my god, wow. <laughs> it's a very fucking dodgy one. So, I hit up Ferran. Oh no, nah, what have you done? Bro! I nah, use on it. Bro! Shit, man. Bro, I don't know if it's fully done yet, though. Oh no, nah, don't worry, that's fine. Well, it's that dipstick, you need to um, cable tie it down. It's pushing all that. <laughs> and as it turns out, the Intec lives on. Then headed back to fix her up. Then realised, fuck, I got no tools. I was not prepared for this, but that's alright. We sourced a box cutter, cut the old zip tie and pulled the oil back in and zipped it back up. Good as new. Jordan has arrived. He then showed me how it's done.
That was fun. It was still running pretty hot. A bit more oil. A bit more oil. But luckily, one of the other drifters gave us a litre of oil. Top bloke. Run three. This time I've got some cones scattered around the place, so I better start weaving. Started strong, consistent second gear skids is an improvement. Began losing it towards the end a bit and deleted a few more cones, but this cunt wanted to come back with me. Whilst I let the AU cool down, this sick beamer had a crack at it. Run four. Getting more comfortable with second gear, however, still killing cones. that cone who's boss. Run five. She started to struggle a bit, the old forward are you? didn't want to go into second gear, so I went back to just doing first gear. But it's just not the same. Second gear felt so much better than this, so I tried again. No matter how hard I tried to yank that thing into gear, it would not budge. It would shift gears fine when the car was turned off, but when the car was on, it couldn't shift into second. The hypothesis clutch. What happened to it? It doesn't want to go in second gear. <laughs> I didn't do it. A wild Jesse Scott appeared from Keep It Reap, came over and sussed out what the go was with the AU. So, you got no yeah. so we gave her a push. <laughs> <laughs> then jacked her up and tried to confirm the issue. Yeah, you're on. 
Not with Ben, so no. Hutch might just be toasted. Fuck Hutch. <laughs> she was on her way out. I noticed last night it was like really hard to get in a gear. Yeah, I noticed that. And I was like, eh, maybe it's the pin. And I had a look and I couldn't really see. Yeah. But, yeah. That's a good run there, bro. Pretty epic. Not bad. It's yeah. going to be hard to blow the motor up now with no clutch, but <laughs> yeah. we can probably start it in gear. <laughs> That's that. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Overall, today's chaos turned out to be an awesome day. It was worth pushing myself outside of my comfort zone. Also, I didn't slam the rental into a wall. That's a W. To conclude, all in all, drift school was a mint experience. Now that I fully know what to expect, for next time, it's the type of thing you could bring a bunch of your mates to, set up a gazebo with a portable barbecue, and chill, while either watching, sitting passenger, or driving and learning to drift with others. How cool is that? It's like a picnic for drifters. Fucking watch out, Jimmy! Ben is coming! If you're keen to learn drifting yourself, keep a Reet host drift school every month. Just make sure you bring a rear wheel drive car, a helmet, a fire extinguisher, and some tools. Or you could even rent the Reet Ford AU yourself if you don't have a car. And keep in mind, they do have experienced driving instructors to help you. Alternatively, you can learn from sim drifting on a Seto Corsa, which is how I've been learning before I took it to real life today. If you're tight on cash, just buy a cheap Logitech setup. Look, the best thing about this is there's no copper dogs behind you flicking their sirens on. Mm. Another thing I really like is there's some progression to this. You start at drift school and when deemed confident in one's drifting ability by an instructor, you will be granted a learner's plate to then access the main track at Friday Night Drifts. And then, after a fair while, if you're getting good and you're enjoying it, you can get competitive, which is where Battle Royale comes into play. This shit's better than Fortnite, boys. For more details about Keep It Reet's Drift School, head to keepitreet.com slash drift school. The link will be in the description. Well, I'll see you around here. All right, mate. Hope you had fun. Go line up in Drift School. Well, you did it. We done did it. That's a wrap. Anyways, thanks to Keeper Reap for the invite. Had a mad time. Um, after that, I have a massive stiffy for drifting. And look, I think now it's about time. About time I get a drift missile of my own.